Hello everybody and welcome back to some nuclear throw and we are jumping in again. We're gonna go as Roboto. Oh wait, do we have a custom gun for Robot? We must do. We must do. Right, one, one second. Let me just... Let me just go back to the main menu here and try this out. Because this guy has to have a... What? Now that is criminal. We don't have a single better weapon for this guy. I mean... It's fine. I did not... No, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. Instant restart. Instant restart. <laughs> I did not want to do that. I meant to open it and then run away like that. There you go. Like that. So I can go there later. But I can at least get a gun before I do and maybe try and level up. I don't just want to instantly go over there. But we'll make our way. Okay, we did get a level up and we got a better weapon. I like. I, I want to try and go this, this this sort of hard path a lot more often. Uh, just because it's 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 fun and a bit more of a challenge, but at the same time, it does lead to a good amount of false starts. So I think it's kind of we got to pick our battles with it a little bit. I mean, like look at the amount of damage I just took immediately there. It's a very very hard area to start off in, especially these bloody explosive dudes. Get caught in the in the wrong place with one of those dudes, and you're gonna have a bad time. Okay, that was not too bad though, and we got an extra rank up. Power cravings this early could be super good. I like to get the extra abilities. I mean, the extra abilities aren't usually insane, but there's a few of them like freezing, which can turn your whole run around. I don't know if I want to be using Yo-Yo all here. I don't know when Yo-Yo becomes like meta. <laughs> I don't really want to call it meta, but when does Yo-Yo become... Because it is piercing, so I feel like it has got a lot of usefulness. Let's go through here. Uh, let's try and take it. This, uh, ooh, Morpho Rifle. We'll definitely take that. I think the Morph Guns are pretty good. Um, and it came with extra item drops. And then we can put... Uh, I probably want to put Kraken on it, to be honest. I love the fact that you can exit these. I, I, I said it last time, but goddamn. Such a good change. But yeah, I think Kraken plus this is, is, is a pretty good mix. Obviously, the weapon itself doesn't do a ton, but obviously it can morph, which is pretty nice. I see you, invisible fella. The Kraken effect is really nice here. Especially with the fast fire rate. We've also got the auto bullet shotgun here, I think that is. And we've got it with radiation on it. Oh god, that guy hit me down to one hit away from death here. Okay, we did get him, but it was a little tricky. Also using two guns with the same ammo type right now. Not good. Let's take Alkaline Clan Saliva. Let's take Eagle Eyes. Lightning Screwdriver. I don't know if that's going to be any good for us. Okay, this is definitely a stage where I could die pretty early here. The Lightning Screwdriver is luckily um, a weapon that doesn't require us to have any ammo, which is really nice. I wonder if the Kraken, like, leeching effect can can morph enemies too. I, I would assume not, but, like, you never really know with this game. That's pretty good. Um, Mini Incinerator is unfortunately another, um, yeah. It's another item that we use bullet ammo for, so we can't really take that right now. Okay, this is... The Lightning Screwdriver, I think, is going to be a top-tier pickup for us here. This is really good. It's able to destroy projectiles, obviously, like most melee weapons, but also it does a very, very, very good amount of damage. Okay, let's let's get a few of these in there. Try and cheapify at least one of these for. Okay, that this is a decent setup already. Uh, we'll definitely take scarier face here. This is the area in which things tend to get a little more fucky for us, though. So let's not pretend like we're in the clear yet. Honestly, lightning. It's so good. I made a mistake here. I'm gonna pull back. Just a little bit. I was like, yeah, let's just run in and use the uh, ability to destroy bullets to just push forward. It didn't really work out to the fullest of my expectations. But we did get, ooh, laser crash with Splinter and a Swarm. Okay, Laser Crash with Eagle Eye, pretty good. Pretty good. We do have some more enemies up this way. A 
Okay, good. The police as well. Is that not it? Are we not done here? Okay, we are done here. Laser crash, yeah, I'm not sure about... By the way, we're level 7 already. I'm not sure about laser crash. I will take it with um, energy brain, or whatever it's called. I think with the extra damage... Lit, uh, and eagle eyes, obviously. This could be really good. Obviously, the main concern right now is ammo with it is not great. We do got bush box here, which is an enemy that tends to do a lot of damage to me. But, okay, this is a setup. This right here is a setup. The swarm is pretty nice, too. I like the swarm on it. Hey, we got an over overheal chest there. This will probably take us to the thingy land. No, it didn't. I think you've got to kill the sheep first to go to the other area. Okay, this, yeah, this, this weapon is shredding right now. I think getting laser brain with it was, uh... 100% the way to go. Is it is is it energy brain or laser brain? It's energy brain. I think it's normally called laser brain, but this mod maybe renames it to make it a little more clear what it um, affects. I don't know. I, I, I felt like it used to be laser brain. Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay. That's it, right? No? What the hell's left? Oh, hello. Didn't see you there. And okay, now we're good to go. Yeah, this is a really fun setup so far. Um, you can preemptively reload up to two shots. I don't think we need that right now. Let's go with open mind, maybe. In the tight areas, this gun isn't going to be quite as good. But overall, I think it's going to be better. That egg sack might hatch behind us up there, so keep an eye out for that. Do not like where I've ended up landing myself for this boss fight. But we killed him just the same. It does... I think it's just because of eagle eyes, which is, like, what's making it so insane. But... It, it really is crazy, because it's double damage and all the shots land in front of us, whereas this normally lands, like, everywhere but in front of you. I like the fact that Eagle Eyes works like that, where, uh, on weapons where they would just fire in, like, random directions, it kind of, like, it, it gives, it gives, like, kind of a cone effect to that. And we got Shuffle Crash as well. Oh my god, Shovel Crash also does that too. I didn't expect it to work with Shovel Crash. Okay, Shovel Crash is also really good. We have two very good things here. And I think we've got Reload Speed on it too, which is pretty awesome. This is going to be good. This is going to be good. Um, I like the Screwdriver. It did serve me well. The damage on these two... Just unparalleled. Ah, damn. We didn't get to go to the thingy. Like an extra upgrade on there uh, on this weapon. Imagine freezing on this thing. Been great. We've got the missile bomb here. Kind of interesting. Still the this is the setup. This is the way. We've got two lightning SMGs, thank you. We also got the missile bomb in here as well. Right, let's go for it. I love the way our weapons are just too big to actually fit in the icon slots. Hello, sir. Are you ready to die? Two more shots. Okay. No? One more shot. And we got Ultra as well. Nice. Right, what's our Ultras here? Um, only high tier weapon drops. Every enemy has had a chance to drop a weapon. Increase fire rate on based on weapon tier. Also eat weapons left over. Uh, eating weapons have a chance to drop a chest. You can carry three weapons. Eating weapons gives more rads. And eating a weapon will drop... Um, eating weapons will drop it like turrets. <sighs> 
This is tricky. I think we go with this. Also, this area exists again. Wasn't this removed? This this boss is back. This Throne 2 is finally back. I don't know where he's been all this time, but Throne 2 is back. In this mod, he wasn't in it for a while, but he's been re-added. I'm not sure if that's due to the mod itself or because of the patch the mod is made on. Probably because the patch the mod is made on more than anything. But pretty cool to see it back. But yeah, we can carry a third weapon here, so let's try and remember that. Let's straight through here, because, I don't know, sadist, I guess. Mom on vacation. <laughs> I love that. One thing I'm going to have to get a little used to is swapping weapons. It's going to be a little more difficult than normal, because I'm not going to swap to the one that I expect to swap to. Um, double accelerator. Whoa. Kraken grenade launcher. Yeah, we'll take the Kraken grenade launcher here. Yeah, I'm not going to always swap to the one that I actually intend to swap to. I honestly think this weapon is going to just carry though. Because, like, it's got enough of a wide angle to hit basically everything. But being tight enough to make sure... I didn't teleport or stand up. A lot of things are throwing out poison at me here. Oh god. For some reason I completely forgot that those enemies would do that and shoot through the walls there. Hyper launcher. What's left? Is that it? That is not it. There's more somewhere. Oh, wait, no, this did open. Okay. Definitely want some new upgrades on this. We get four choices. We get morph, projectile speed, explosive. Let's go with explosive. Seems good to me. And we leave. Might end up being a bit of a shorter episode today. We'll see. But yeah, I like explosive on this. It might end up being a mistake, but... I just want freeze on it. Freeze would be so good. We need to get to as many crown bolts as we can so we can... Get those upgrades. We've got a lot of um, golden folk around here as well, from that thing. They're certainly problematic, or could be. What we need is like a really big, beefy weapon as our third, which is like a sort of end or be all. Like we've run out of ammo, or there's too much in our face. We just fire it off and annihilate. We're doing pretty good though. Little bit of an ammo concern there. Considering I ate all those guns, I'm surprised, but a little bit of an ammo concern. Did you see that dodge there? My god. I don't even know how I did that. Be careful of the poison. The poison's generally not that big of a deal. there. This is, this, this gun is so good. L laser Brain is just really fun. If you get a good build for Laser Brain, it can be, it can be just one of the best. Crash Blast. And when you get a synergy like this, it's just got everything you could possibly need. You know you're in the money then. Okay. I think with the explosives as well, the explosives are triggering each frame the laser is over an enemy. So like bigger enemies like that truck, it does insane damage to. Did we did we see the box dude? Oh no, he, he's on the stage here. Yeah. I thought we just missed him. Bush box is over here though. Wow, bush box did not live very long. Okay, I killed the sheep again. I didn't mean to kill it. I meant to interact with it. Whoops. I wasn't, like, sometimes I just don't even have to look where I'm shooting. I just shoot. Is that it? That is it. Reflections on the wall. It won't go away. 
Just don't make sure we don't walk into the hyper crystal or anything on this stage and we should be fine. Yeah, the explosive is uh, adding quite a lot to this. A lot better than I expected it to be. Nice. And ammo seems to be not that big of a deal. I thought without back muscle, anything laser-based, ammo could be a concern. But honestly, no. We're doing just fine. We do have a Super Seeker Cannon here, which I will swap for this. Okay, that thing seems good. Excuse me. Bats here. With the other enemies in the stage, he could be problematic, but without them, he's actually a bitch. So this thing, we probably want to fire, like, off the bat when we enter a stage. And then we can just come back to the laser crash. Eh, it seems good, but nowhere near as good as this. Ooh, explosive dude. Not see you coming. I love the way it pushes the actual cart. And these enemies are great as well because they just drop enough ammo for us to just keep like kind of walking through. Put some dumb damage there, but shouldn't be anything we have to worry about. Yeah, there you go. Let's try back to full. And it's just the police now, I think. Two-headed dragon. Ooh, this this guy. Hit him. Where's the last police here? Is it even a police? It might just be a normal enemy. It is a police. It's always a police. Okay, health definitely caused an issue there, but we should we should be fine. Yeah, that thing seems good, but like it's not as wild ending as this is, and I like wild ending stuff. Maybe, maybe he changed it recently in an update to where you have to actually finish the area. What on earth killed me then? What was that? Excuse me. Excuse me, what was that? Right, Robot, we did get a single gold weapon. Thank God it was an actually good one. Uh, let's go in for another run, but I don't know what killed me then. I got an explosive was thrown at me, but I don't know by who. It's kind of insane. Straight through here. I think with a flamethrower, this area might be pretty plausible to get through fairly easily. I'm not going to say I live, like, long. I mean, damage-wise, I think we've got a weapon that could do a lot here. Because I think the flamethrower, as far as golden weapons go, is a pretty damn good one. I've, had, I've got it on, like, a few other characters. It always seems to be pretty good. Oh, we got, a, we got an inverted area. Okay, the inverted... Um, Inverted area of this is, is not exactly easy, but, eh, try it out. Alkaline Saliva just saves us in that first hit, or at least heals us. And also, I forgot how just gorgeous, gorgeous this area looks. Also, Kraken plus Flamethrower. I think it Krakens for every tick of damage, so Flacken, Flacken? Kraken plus Flamethrower should be pretty good. I don't know exactly. I'm kind of just... Pretending I know, but I don't. I can't saliva save this there. E, we got in here as well. Uh, we'll definitely take that. I was trying to kind of pop off with the flamethrower here. Ah, oh, it's only our first area, so we didn't get anything. I was hoping we'd get an upgrade from here, but if, you, if it's only your first one, you don't get an upgrade. I love the fact that, that straight away we can just like roll straight into an enemy because of Alpine Slider. Dude! That was stupid of me. That was really stupid. Right, one more go of that. One more go of that. No more cracking for us. I do want to go back to that area though if we can make it there. 
And we did. Shiny flames. Two straight away. I would love another um another inverted area. But I don't know if we'll get it. Yeah, the fire just does like such consistent damage. So good. And you like fire one burst and it basically does everything you need it to. Okay, good. Made it just about to the next level. We'll definitely take Bloodshed here because we're already at a low HP. Basically means if we don't get a health drop straight away, if we get enough kills, we might save ourselves. Or we'll die again. One more go. <laughs> I keep saying one more go. I actually do mean one more go this time. I actually do mean one more go. No, 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 no. Yeah, there you go. So it's good to open it because it's like time based and then try to escape it. But unfortunately, it's in a really bad spot where the rest of the map is at the other side of it. So we got basically no rads that time around. I was hoping to, to do that specifically to make sure we got at least a level two, but it doesn't always happen for us, does it? Beautiful. Toxic assault rifle. That's that's a weapon I could see being a lot of fun. I really like the toxic weapons. Um, we 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 proved how good eagle eyes was in that last run. Let's take it. Yeah, I can see this. It's like it's dangerous, definitely, and it will definitely be the cause of my death. But it's fun. And we can kind of block off entrances with it too if we want. I don't know. We'll see. This. Eh. It's feeling good, but it feels like it's definitely going to be the thing that leads to my demise. Yeah, he definitely changed it. The, the mod developer. Oh no, maybe not. I, don't, I really don't know. There's something weird going on with that. Let's take Bolt Marrow just for now. This is like sort of an investment. If I get something that works with it, that'd be really nice. Okay, it doesn't matter. Anyways, I think we're going to leave it off there. That's been a fun run, though. Especially that first one. It's a shame we died, but these, these Nuclear Throne runs tend to be a little bit shorter. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.